Now, because the Hewen Wood Centre is such a large site, Andrew, one yes, of its Nick. unexpected products is irrigation water. The stormwater that falls yes. on the site... Yes, it does rain a lot down here. It certainly does. Yes. ...is treated through a number of these dams to yep. remove contaminants and so on. Yes. And then it's uh, sort of dispersed out over the forest to make the trees grow. Yeah, you could almost put trout in there. In fact, there's a plan to put trout in there. Now, the only thing that means that's left over is a bit of this, a bit of old wood. But what they're going to do, well, they're planning to build a power station, a wood-fired power station so big that it will power everyone's home south of Hobart. Extraordinary. Electricity as a product from Tassie's forests. That's the vision for the timber which is currently not being used for anything else. A wood-fired power station would be able to produce huge amounts of power as well as meaning forestry would produce virtually no waste. This is renewable electricity. So the wood that's used to produce the electricity in a wood-fired power station um, is stuff that we're growing again in the forest all the time. So it's all renewable as distinct from uh, coal for example. It's the timber such as this which is left after a harvesting operation that will be used to power the station. Every time a site is harvested, tonnes and tonnes of this dead wood is left and burnt with the coop during the regeneration burn. It's just a bit of wood that we can't sell for any other product. It's either too small or it's a bit crooked or it's a bit rotten and you can't use it for any other product. So we burn hundreds of thousands of tonnes of this every year. It's waste at the end of the harvesting operation and it can actually be used for something useful for renewable electricity. Now you might think burning wood to produce power would be a carbon no-no, but the wood is already being burnt in normal forest practices, so as other trees will grow back. The difference between wood and, and coal and oil and so on is that, sure, when you burn the wood, carbon dioxide is released and it's released into the atmosphere. There's no hiding that. But what's different about this kind of renewable energy is that the trees that are out there in the forest all around us are growing all the time and they're reabsorbing the carbon as it's used to produce electricity. And that's what makes it renewable. One of the real advantages of using wood that would otherwise be burnt is that there'll be less smoke and of course some of the big pieces will be left on the forest floor to maintain habitat for the myriad of little bugs and beetles. Picking up the waste after harvesting to create energy will reduce smoke from regeneration burns and create renewable energy for Tasmania. Biomass is widely used in Finland, Sweden and America as part of the climate change solution. Now, so far we've looked at several products which come from our forests, including wood chips for paper, the more valuable saw logs for veneer and hardwood, and even the possibility of renewable electricity. But there is, of course, one other product, and that is the special species timbers, which, in the right hands, can create works of art. Tasmanian pine timbers are really iconic. You know, people know about the hue and pine, the blackwood, the myrtle. Um, all of these timbers are sort of part of our culture. Uh, people look out for them, whether they're locals or whether they're visitors. People come to Tasmania expecting that's what they're going to find here. They come here and they expect to buy things and they, and they enjoy the forest as well. In order to protect the brand of Tassie's Fine Timbers, Fine Timbers Tasmania has recently launched an initiative called Chain of Custody. It's not just a branding exercise, but a guarantee the special timbers being worked with and sold have not been sourced illegally. Well, Chain of Custody is all about certifying that the product that consumers buy has come from a sustainably managed forest and the timber's been legally sourced. So what that means in Tasmania with our Chain of Custody is that a banding together of a lot of these smaller businesses, so whether it's a sawmiller or a designer maker or a wholesaler or a retailer, they all join together in a chain, so they take the wood from the forest all the way through to the consumer. Customers these days want to know the timber they buy is legal and comes from sustainably managed forests. The Chain of Custody logo gives them that confidence.
The other products which come out of the forest include the most valuable saw and beautiful veneer logs, solid wood that's turned into industrial grade veneer and wood chips which are made into pulp for paper. And hopefully one day the wood that's left on the forest floor will be gathered up and turned into renewable energy, cutting smoke from regeneration burns and providing enough power for most population centres south of Hobart. Now coming up after the break we go to the front line of the forest wars. <laughs> 